We're looking at the topic of retirement today. Uh, as well, we saw Margaret in the Alan Walker Village. There are many benefits of maintaining an active lifestyle well beyond what we call working years. To tell us more about this and to discuss a new book he's written called Making Retirement Work, please welcome back onto Wesley Impact, John Bradford. Thank John. you, sir. Dad, <clears throat> tell me, first of all, why did you write the book? Um, well, I, I just became interested in the topic because I was uh, dealing with a lot of people who were transitioning to retirement, that is, thinking about what to do when they retire, and also in my age group, and I'm actually turned 73 <laughs> <laughs> since I wrote the book. Mm -hmm. um, many of my people in my age group were already retired and were challenged by, by some of the aspects of being retired. So I thought, well, here's, here's something for a book. And uh, so I, I was also involved in an organisation uh, that, that, that promoted uh, the ministry called Q4, which is part of Christian Ministry Advancement. And they sort of developed a ministry arm that was focused on, on that topic. So really, it uses as much to prepare people for that transitional process as it is for people in the situation. Both. Asking what, what should we be prepared for, what should we be doing, and feeling positive. Absolutely, I mean, retirement yes. isn't the end game, is it? It's something no. that we live through. Well, it's the beginning of a whole new, new phase of life, and it's an increasingly extended phase because, of course, life expectancy has now increased to the point where you know, people can live quite comfortably into, into their 90s if yes. and if they're blessed with good health. And, I'm, and I've alluded to in my book, one thing I found in the research is that there's a person now born who will live to be 150 years old. Really? So that's how life expectancy is, is going. I don't, I don't know what you... If you still retire more or less at 65, that's an awful lot of retirement years. And you talk about wanting to finish well, don't you? I like that phrase that mm. you've used. What do you mean by that? Well, life is, is, is an ongoing uh, set of challenges, and I think for Christians, with the finishing line in view, then the challenge is, is to keep on, keep on going, keep focused on, on finishing well, getting, getting across that finishing line, because there are things that will happen that you know, will make that hard. What are some of the challenges that you, you discuss in, in the book about growing old? Well, loneliness obviously is, is, a, is yes. one that people mention a lot and there's, not, there's no easy answers to that and it's, 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 it's probably a state of mind as much as anything. Um, but many, many people who are aged are lonely, particularly when they've lost their life partner and that, that happens and, yes. uh, and, and very often that seems to be women still who are living longer than men. Yes. Um, but so loneliness and just the challenge I think of, of being busy and being occupied. Many retired people have been very successful in, in their careers. That may be men, that's changing, but it's mainly been men. And suddenly they're thrust into an environment where, you know, what, what I talk about in my political career, I mean one day you're, you're a rooster and sort of suddenly next day you're the feather duster. So mm -hmm. I mean that, that can that can be a daunting challenge for people to accept that that uh, you know they're no longer on the way up the ladder, but they're on the way down the ladder. So all of all of those challenges, I think, are very real for people. Mm. And <clears throat> you've been in politics; you, you're concerned. But as a Christian, what do you think the Christian has to contribute to this whole aspect of growing old? What do you think that we, we if there was a conversation, what would the Christian conversation be? Well. Well, I mean, as a Christian, I mean, obviously, we've got a whole, a whole different focus to what, what, what others may have in terms of where we're going. So we know that there's life beyond. We, we believe that there's, we accept sure. that there's life beyond this life. So our focus really is on, on I suppose, in some senses, in preparing for that, mm. and uh, that mm -hmm. means that means, as you said, finishing well and mm. uh, continuing to to maintain the faith, and that that for some people I've found older people even becomes a challenge. Someone's listening to us, our conversation, and that they're trying to come to terms with the fact that they're nearing retirement and. Uh, or they've just recently retired, what would you say to them if you had the opportunity of giving them... I'm not sure the word advice is right, but if you were able to say something that's helpful, what would you say? Well, I'm, I'm involved, fortunately, with a number of folk in that in that transition, and uh, some of them are super busy. They've got every minute of the day organised, and perhaps that's not a bad starting point. I mean, this friend of mine on the Gold Coast where I live, I mean, he's, if he's not playing table tennis, he's playing something.
something else. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I guess the, the challenge is, is to be busy, to, to find things that you enjoy doing in retirement. Now, I mean, I'm fortunate, even at my age, to, to be able to surf still. I still ride my surfboard when I can. I play golf fairly often. My wife thinks too often, but anyway, that's enough. <laughs> but I play golf and, and I still volunteer at a local radio station on the Gold Coast mm. where I work mm. two or three days a week. Um, so there are plenty of opportunities out there. Maybe I'm more fortunate than some people to take advantage of those, but there are plenty of opportunities for people in my age group to be doing things. And it's not all about money and having resources. It's about no. the opportunity to give. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it, it, money is an issue of it, uh, as you raise it for many people. I yeah. mean, they, they yeah. may not have enough money to retire comfortably yeah. on, and so uh, the ability to, to uh, travel and so on may be limited, and uh, that's obviously going to limit their choices in retirement, what they can do if they haven't got adequate money to live on. Thank you for writing this book. I hope that people that are watching might say, here's an opportunity to get John Bradford along to talk about this and, 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 and share with you. But we do appreciate you doing this and touching on this subject that for some people isn't talked about enough, really. No, it's being increasingly talked about because of the fact that more and more people are sort of concerned about the many years they've got to look forward to in retirement. Most people these days, of course, Keith, transition into retirement. Sure. Many people like this office yeah. sort of what they call semi-retired. When people ask me if I'm retired, I'm not quite sure what the correct answer is, but I don't see myself as <laughs> retired. I think semi-retired sounds fine for me. Thank you for coming on and keep at it and make sure that that transition goes on for some time yet.